So welcome to Slovakia and Zarnovic. This is the uh, venue, as you can see, for the 2021 FIM Speedway Grand Prix Challenge event. And of course, it's one of the biggest events of the season for these guys. You have 16 guys going for three spots in uh, 2022. So these will officially be the first three riders in next year's Grand Prix. So uh, yeah, big stakes and uh, they have five races to do it. And I'm sure they're all very uh, keen and eager to do get in that top three. Lemo, I suppose you come out to support Team Australia. That's it. Uh, yeah, we've got Max Frick, uh, Chris Holder and Ron Tungate representing Australia. Uh, they come through the qualifying rounds and obviously got the Grand Prix Challenge now. Aiming for a top three to, to get there, secure their place as a permanent rider in the 2022 Grand Prix Series. You think they got it? Well, they definitely got it. Two of them, obviously, you know, you know Max is a current Grand Prix rider and uh, he's picked up his form of late and um, going quite well. Um, and Chris Holder's obviously been there, done that, got the t-shirt, knows the whole script, starting to find a bit of form as well. So you know, I think if, if he desperately wants it, you know, he's capable of doing it. He has the talent, probably more than most riders here in this, this um, you know, pit yard at the moment. Uh, and Rowan Tungate, uh, I've never seen Rowan as committed and focused in the, his short career. Um, he's fresh, you know, he's, he's been fortunate that he hasn't had to have a league match in Poland last night. And um, like I said, Chris and Max and quite a few other boys in this lineup have actually had to drive through the night. So I, I'm not sure how that's going to play into their hands. Um, it's probably not the ideal preparation, but uh, these boys, to you know, qualify, these, they've got to pull something pretty big out of the, out of the rabbit out of the hat. So what did it mean even just getting the top three? It's an important meeting today. Obviously, uh, it makes life a lot easier um, for the rest of the season, knowing uh, where, you, where you stand for next year, if you're in the Grand Prix or not. Um, so yeah, it just takes a little bit of pressure off if we can qualify here, and then uh, you know I can concentrate on the Grand Prix the rest of the series and get my head down and not have to worry about next year too much. What time did you finish last night in Rotslav? I'm not too sure what time we finished up. It was pretty late, I think maybe around 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, and then, you know, get everything ready and, and jump in the van afterwards. So uh, I don't think we'd left till probably close to 11 o'clock last night. So all night in the van and then wake up this morning here. It was uh, it's nice and sunny. It's a beautiful place here, so it's not too bad. Hey, I'm Dan Bewley. We're in Zarnovich today, uh, hoping for five good rides and uh, Hopefully get ourselves in the GP for next year, it would be a bit of a dream come true, so uh, that's the plan, but uh, we'll see how we go, looking forward to it. There were some rides I've looked up to since I started, so, you know, like Chris, Chris Holder and a few others, but there's a lot of riders going well so far, so uh, it's going to be, won't be easy. What time do you leave Rotslav last night? Oh, close to 12 o'clock, we got here about 6 or 7 this morning, so uh, yeah, a few hours sleep in the van and we're good to go. Jack. Not bad. Good start. Jack. Not good. Well, no one's done nothing of it, so. Gotta do something else. What happened there? Young car, really out of shape. Here we go again. But he didn't even crash. No, it was a bit uh, premature on the referee. I'd say to, I don't know, I don't know. He's obviously looking from a different angle than we are, but um, he got out of shape himself and didn't really cause anyone hindrance, but I don't really know why that will stop. But it's, it's racing. What the f*** was that? Oh, 
was that all about? How was that meeting? Yeah, very hot. <laughs> How happy is Patrick to be in the Grand Prix? Good to be back and fight for the World Championship. So we have this. We have this and waiting for the next year. I am big happy. So. Yeah. It's a little bit grippy yesterday. It's more than yeah. here. The track is okay here. Just the bumps. Yeah. yeah. The holes. Yeah. I looked over here, they I were like so deep. Yeah. Because on the practice was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the water was the... Uh, I don't know why. Like bikes? Because yeah. One yeah. week, yeah? Big week. Can be better in the life, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big lifestyle yeah. change. Yeah. Really also, I have daughter, yeah, on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good this good week. Congrats. You wait till I have an 8 and a 12 year old. My 12 year old now, she yeah. dresses like a 16 year old. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Disaster already. I'm worried already. Are you, are you not happy about that, Phil? Well, no, she's getting a bit old now, and you know, it's she needs to stop growing up. If you have girls in the house, so if you have boy, you look only yeah, boy is okay. Only boy. Yeah. But if you have girls, looking for the whole city, eh? yeah, <laughs> stay away. <laughs> How was that winning the GP challenge, dude? Oh, can't believe it, mate. Uh, on Tuesday, my daughter comes on the world, and today I go to SGP, so I can't believe it. It's some dream, or I don't know. What, what does it mean like for you now going into the Grand Prix? All, always was my dream, and uh, now I go to GP, so how I thought, I can't believe it, because before only I can play on computer I remember many years ago on SGP so now I will race there with the best guys on the world so can't and, believe it and you can show the whole world what you're made of yeah can't believe it yeah really I I don't know what can I say more so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go so dude qualify for 2022 yeah it's unreal um... You know, I've got through the qualifier once before, but it's uh, now I'm in the championship as well. It's a little bit of a relief because um, our championship position has been, you know, changing a little bit. But uh, we're just outside of the, you know, top six at the moment, so it just takes the pressure off a little bit to be able to know that I'm in for next year and I can go out and concentrate on the Grand Prix um, one race at a time and then try and put in some good results for the end of the season. Hopefully, you don't need the uh, the, the GP challenge, but. Uh... That's it, exactly. You know, we don't really hope to need the Grand Prix Challenge, but, um, you know, it's a, a little bit of insurance there just to make sure that we've 
qualified for next year and, and our spot's safe and, and we're ready to go uh, if we need it. Back for 2022. Yeah, this is my plan on this year, back to the Grand Prix and so, I, so and, and I'm, I'm back. So I'm very happy because the meeting today was very tough. This meeting was exciting for me very and I am big happy to back to the GP because the racing GP is a special place for the best riders on the world and yeah that's that's all. So Chris, how did, how did it go? Well what a place. Um no, it was started off really good, obviously had the had the win straight out the bag in heat one off the um, Gate three, I made a really good start, felt good. Track was not in bad shape at heat one. And then they get a bit trigger happy with the old water cart as per usual. And then it cut up, it cut up really quick. We did practice and it didn't really have a many uh, ruts or anything, but man, it fell apart. And then it was pretty much just gate. If you can gate, you were gone. Gate four was like impossible to do anything. And luckily I only had one of them and I ran last by mile. So I had like six points after three and everyone was sort of dropping a few points. So I was in the mix there and then had gate two and me fourth one and made a great start. Went in the first corner and um, I knew there was a couple of good holes. So I got through them, no stress, and then turned and I thought I was home and dry. And I've just hit this mega rut and I didn't even see it. And it just, yeah, picked up and then I was a passenger and I was like, oh, okay, here we go, where am I going? Obviously went across the corner, trying to get it down, got it down and then everyone just went shump straight past and I spent the next three and a half laps just swearing in my helmet going you know what and that killed me because that la I already had a last obviously in the second one and that next one that put me out of it really so going into the last one I gate one and I was like if I don't make the start I'm pulling off because this is yeah. track's getting a bit sketchy got got t-bone didn't I like Rowan nearly cleaned me right out but managed to um managed to stay on it and the ref put the red lights on, stopped the race, whatever. And then I wanted to make a bit of a change, but like I said, it wasn't, no matter what I did in the last one, it was all over. So it was pretty much just survive, made a good start and then had a good little race with Maxi there for a bit. And oh, he was going, he needed the points. So he was putting it on the inside through the uh, dodgy lines and um, he nearly come unstuck. And I got past him and he passed me back and then that was all she wrote. And um, yeah, I was pretty relieved to cross the finish line in one piece, like, thank you. See you later. Probably got a bit closer than I thought. If I didn't stuff up that forefront and pull that wheelie, I was in front at the time. I would have probably held it. I would have stayed in front because there was little to no passing. Just wasn't to be, so. And then, yeah, that forefront, man, really upset me. But that's Speedway. How was it? Yeah, it was a tough day. You know, um, obviously, this time of day, 35 degrees heat, it's a tough, tough uh, job for anyone. And there were some holes appeared in the track, which, of course, it's never ideal for a speedway track, and uh, it was tough for the guys, but uh, we did what we could, and uh, I think we had good results at the end, and there was only one accident, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, we, we know it wasn't a perfect event, but uh, we did what we could, and uh, yeah, we got a, got the result in the end, and well done to uh, Schapelski for winning, and uh, frickin' Dudek for making the podium and qualifying for 2022. Hopefully I'll get that wild card pick for next year anyway, so I'll bank on that. <laughs> See you later. Hello, Rowan Tungate here, and, uh, and I'm uh, here to talk with and uh, talking dirty, so <laughs> again, again. Hey, I'm Dan Bewley. Uh, looking forward to tonight uh, to start again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong way around. Is it? What way do I need to go? That way. Well, the fluffy bit needs to be at the top. So ah, yeah. Well, you like put it in your pocket. Yeah, yeah.